hello everyone uh, welcome in my channel computer programming and today i'm going to show you you can check uh, i have a data list that is the data list and uh, that list will be bind with the sql source uh, sql data source that is and uh, dynamically generated the product title product description and product price you can see with the binding expression so uh, how to get that uh, product uh, name uh, that is dynamically generated uh, so uh, when we click on the button uh, control that is the button control that is outside of the uh, data list that is the outside of the data list so when we click on the button control just like that and uh, i want to get the uh, item which is uh, uh, available on the uh, product name label so just you have to use a, that type of expression for each data list item item in data list one dot items uh, similarly you have to say that uh, drop down list items so item dot find control uh, product name label as a label because the find control product name label uh, because you can see that um, uh, that is the label control so you can see that assign the as a label control okay so you can find that item uh, one by one uh, uh, which is available in the data list so you can use uh, item dot find control and the id property of the label so as a label uh, if you want to add uh, uh, if you want to find the button control so you can use as a button uh, so here you can use button class and the text box as well so uh, you can check that uh, data is available on that so just you have to see that in the debugging mode so product description and ID is the one so you can check that ID is one and when we click on that item so just you can see that the label one that is the F99 28 size jeans so uh, just uh, you have to check that text property so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, ASP.NET web forms and uh, many more technologies because a computer programming is a combination of all these things. Thank you very much for watching.